What's up? I'm RJ, RJ Young. This is my uh, vlog about getting a PhD in English. It's called well, PhDs are for kids. And that's really who it's for. It's not for adults. And in this vlog, I talk about being a PhD student, the life of a PhD student. And for me, that means riding the bus like I'm in the fourth grade. And as you can see, there are lots of us still in the fourth grade. I decided to stand in the shade over here, uh, mostly because, well, it's hot. It's 90 degrees, and September's nearly over. Fuck you, Summer. Excuse me. I need the belch. <laughs> so, I had a friend recently ask me after I put up Chapter 7 of this series, PhDs are for kids, how I even have time to do this. You know, she's got a PhD, and she's like, you should be in tears by now. Like, you should not have time to make videos, let alone the, uh, as many videos as you make. So I answered her question. How do I have time to do this with a PhD course load and a book I'm still editing and writing? Girlfriend? Kids? Insomnia, mostly. Because we all know that sleep is for the weak. I wish, and uh, I wish I were weaker. So now I'm on the bus and uh, I have two short stories to read and critique and then a bunch of essays to read before Monday. I'm gonna try to put a dent in that in this about an hour and five minute ride, which is becoming my ritual. All right, bang, 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 we're in Stillwater. Head to class, where we're gonna critique three stories, two of which were okay, one of which was trash by that same dude. I mean, I'm not gonna say that he shouldn't be in an MFA writing program, but he probably shouldn't be in an MFA writing program. I mean, just garbage. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the other ones because, well, one of these dudes for real wrote a short story about playing Destiny. And I, I love that. I love Destiny. Destiny's awesome. I wish I had time to play Destiny, but uh, I haven't actually bought Destiny 2 because I feel like if I started playing Destiny 2, I would no longer be able to make this playlist because the PhD would go out the window. Man, seriously, I gave like, I want to say something like 12,000 hours of my life to Destiny, like the first two iterations. Like vanilla Destiny was great, it's awesome, and then whatever they were calling year one was trash, but in a good way. I don't know how you make something trash in a good way, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the hell out of it. So it's really cool to know that in an MFA, PhD level grad school course you can write a short story about playing destiny and get a grade for it That's awesome Then after that I got a lead discussion. Hold up. This dude got the lawnmower on I mean that dude look real he looked real pissed to have to be waiting on us to do our thing look at him just backing up back there More white folks. I hope they tailgate the hell out of that area. So apparently there's a football game today and I care so much about Oklahoma State football that I don't really give a damn. For real, I have a people of OSU segment about this because like some of the stuff that these children are wearing is just Ugh. Then you got dudes coming through in suits like that that make you think like, you know, you're gonna try to drop a DUI on me or something. Try to tune me up for weed. Okay, I just walked into the bathroom like to just wipe my face off because you saw me glistening. You saw me sweating. It's 90 degrees out here in September. That's bullshit. And that dude had just dropped a bomb in there. Like, just... It might clear out the building. I can still smell it. So I got a few minutes, and I should be using them to get ready for a leading discussion on this Raymond Carver story called Popular Mechanics. Uh, or Little Things, or mine, depending on which collection he put it in. Like, he kept, I don't know, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't keep putting stories in the same collections, but I guess you can do that if you're old and white and can't write. I'm joking, Raymond Carver can write his name. Anyway, I'm gonna lead discussion, and I'm gonna start with, uh, you know, his writing style. Which is short, dark, and aggressive. Like me! Alright, so I did a pretty good job 
telling everybody what was going on in Raymond Carver's Popular Mechanics. You might also know it as Little Things or Mine. I also do some really cool trivia about it, which is that Gordon Lish changed the title of Raymond Carver's story for the magazine that he was publishing. So he took Popular Mechanics off the masthead and put it on Raymond Carver's story. And he probably tweaked some of the language in there, which is why it reads kind of funny if you read the original version of Mine. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. But mostly, you know, the story is King Solomon retold because there's a baby and there's half a baby at the end or maybe the baby's in half. He's ambiguous about it. Maybe on purpose. I'm not so sure about that. But, you know, Raymond Carver's kind of, or Raymond Carver, Raymond Carver is kind of canon. So it's really hard to pick him apart with any kind of merit. So a thing that was cool, one of my classmates who's a PhD candidate in creative writing fiction side took me aside to ask me if anybody's giving me any advice on the first year exam come next semester I was like no you got some he's like yeah so that was cool I mean he didn't have to do that uh, he's a cool dude I really like him but mostly the advice comes down to study enough don't stress but study enough read enough books in canon you know that everybody knows that you can apply them to different questions right uh, always fill out all the questions they'll give you three don't I mean you only have to pass two technically but you'd be an idiot not to write something for all three I mean do you want to fail no I don't want to fail I want to be dr. RJ and that's like the first big hurdle and that's in February which is months from now but just goes to show I'm already thinking about it and I'll probably start reading for it here in a little bit along with everything else I'm reading but that was cool like it's nice to have friends it's nice to have people who care that you stay in the program and that you want to be in the program. But since we can't have everything we want, know that Professor Paperclips gave us more work, which is critique three of our classmates, classmates critique three of our classmates' stories, uh, write that story in the lens of Raymond Carver, you know, that's camera, which basically means you can't tell me what anybody's thinking in the story. You can only show me action and the way that they react to other actions it's not as difficult as it seems but you know and then we have two st short stories to read for next week that are in our reader professor paperclips likes you to know that you're in a grad level class which I'm fine with because this is the last degree that I'm ever going to get ever 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 because once you're a doctor there's nothing else to do except you know continue to be broke while pursuing tenure or, if you're me, continue to be broke while pursuing Tinder and have a book published. It's called Downrange. It's coming out 2018. You should check it out. I'll let you know when it's out. That's called a book plug. And you guys should definitely tell my editor and my agent that I'm plugging my book on my YouTube channel because they'd, you know, they'd be proud of me. They'd, they'd, they'd like to know that knowledge. So, I appreciate it. So now I got about an hour before the bus takes me back to Tulsa. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to read through a bunch of this shit in my backpack because, well... I have to because I want to be Dr. RJ. I want to teach people how to write. I want to teach people how to tell good stories. I want to teach people how to argue better so we have a better discourse, a better country. And, and I also want you to have to call me doctor everywhere I go, all the time. Change my first name to capital D R period RJ. Selfish? I don't care. But I'm in a grocery store because, well, I got to eat. Ray grapes. I, I I can do Ray grapes. Yes. Okay, now I gotta get something to drink. Maybe like a banana or something. Ooh, nanas. Nanas. Gotta get some nanas. Look at me making all these healthy choices. Proud of myself. Gonna destroy these healthy choices later with some pizza. But for now, I'll be proud of myself. Okay. I spent 6:23 on snacks to get me through the rest of the day. Now to go meet the buddies for lunch. Like, real talk, I need to do a people of Walmart vlog. Just walk around Walmart talking to people. That'd be so much fun. I mean, there's all kinds of people, like legitimate characters in Walmart. We could all stand to watch a people of Walmart vlog. I think I'm gonna put that on the list of things to do. Definitely. So we're lunching at Ties, which is cool enough to have this slogan.
I dig it. Let's see what they're doing inside. Ugh, goodness. Better lock that. Lock this motherfucker up. All right. Lots of white people. White people everywhere. Be warned. Ugh. Smile, you're on Candy Camera. Uh, who, who are you? Man, smile's hard. Smiling is hard. Now I'm gonna eat some food. Well, when you... Explain Don't to the world you. why you salted these fries before you stuck them in your mouth. Um, I didn't. So this is Ty's Hamburgers, which is so old school that it doesn't even have Wi-Fi. So if that wasn't dead giveaway enough, I'm back in Stillwater. I tried to take a nap on the bus, it didn't take, so I did some more reading, so I'm ready for class, which is nice, you know, if you're a grad student, it's bad manners not to be ready for class, but then again, I don't say sir. Nah, for real, so it's Monday, studies in creative nonfiction, we're gonna workshop three essays of my classmates, two of them were good, one of them was trash was garbage, was just a dumpster fire. And I don't mean that like from a content standpoint, I mean like missing words, grammatical errors, random capitalization. Like you can tell that she's not from a, 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 a writing background and yet she's taking this writing class, this creative writing class. So I'm gonna be interested to see how this goes cause it's, it's set up for some conflict, you know? It's set up for some hands to be thrown, some verbal jabs, and we got three hours in this mug together. She might not want to come back to class uh, next week. Like, it's that bad. I almost feel bad for her. Almost. Meanwhile, I got an essay myself to crank out. A short story to polish up for tomorrow for uh, Professor Paperclips. A couple short stories to critique. And I need to get, you know, a little bit ahead because my sister's getting married next week. Uh, some dude with a, getting a PhD also but his is in computer science I don't know anything about computer science except well it takes science to make computers or maybe it takes computers to make science I don't know just let me know about the letters and shit I need to get me a skateboard like I have seen a bunch of those on campus I can get around so much quicker would be no more or a bike yeah, or a bike. I need to get some of this, this walking shit. This is, this walking shit is for white people. Why black people don't walk? We don't walk, we run. But only when somebody's chasing us. You know, like on a football field, or if a dog is behind you, or the cops say halt. I mean, halt might as well be a starting gun sound. Be like, how? Pow! You know, just gone. Real talk though, the grind is, is starting to get a little real. But every time it gets a little real, I'm all like, you know something? This is the last grind I'm gonna ever have. I don't care how much coursework you give me. I'm for real done after this. So give me all the books. Give me all the papers. Let me pass this Spanish language requirement. And then hood me, cause it's gonna be Dr. RJ, Dr. 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 RJ, call me Dr. RJ. In three and a half years. <laughs> All right, as you can see, daylight savings time is about to be a thing, or I'm about to get rained on. Probably should buy that overhead selfie light. Those things are awesome. I mean, they're gonna make for way better video for you in the future. Like seriously, gotta invest in the in the YouTube channel. So, the woman that I thought was going to get destroyed in workshop didn't get destroyed in workshop. I don't know if that means that I'm just a bad reader or that my classmates are really soft. I think they're soft. I, I do. I think they're soft. But that's cool, right? Because soft means A's. And I want an A. And I want to graduate. And I want to be Dr. RJ. Anyway, we read a bunch of nature essays this week. I hate nature. I tend to stay away from nature. Because, well, nature has mosquitoes. Nature has birds that shit on you. 
Nature has snakes that bite you. Nature has wild beasts. And uh, I don't like wild things. I like air conditioning and the internet, video games. Anyway, so cool day. Uh, still got a lot of work to do. I gotta read half a book for next week. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. We'll see what Henrietta Lacks. Pun! So, now I gotta catch the bus. 16 minutes from now, headed home. I'm gonna eat something. I'm gonna go to bed. So it's raining, which is a special form of the suck because I have to spend seven hours up here wet. Socks, shirt, jeans, because I'm the idiot that didn't bring an umbrella, jacket, hoodie, suntan lotion. I hate everything right now. Drying my hair off with brown paper towels. Oh yeah, I'm pissed. Clown me in the comments if you want to, but it's gonna be you one day and I'm gonna be the person laughing at your ass. So again, 7.12, bus leaves 7.30. Today has kind of been the suck, but it has been the suck because I've been wet for seven hours, or will have been seven hours. Uh, I think I got the runs. And I don't like using public restrooms, and I was forced to use a public restroom. I have an essay that's due tomorrow for my creative nonfiction class, which I need to basically revise the shit out of tonight. Uh, read 176 pages of Henrietta Lacks by next Monday. Somewhere in there, I gotta edit my book. Because I got edits back from my editor. Uh, you might have noticed that my uh, YouTube upload rate has gone to daily. Uh, I don't know, I just insomnia, lots to say, lots to take my mind off of. I mean, I like football. I like a lot of other stuff too. And I'm always going a mile a minute, you know? That's part of that manic thing. So it's not about whether or not I'm gonna get this stuff done, it's just how I'm gonna feel while I'm doing it. You know, sometimes it's great. It's awesome. Like, it's why I love writing. It's like, well, I don't know what it's like to be on crack, but I would, I would assume it's a lot like being on crack. Although that would be really a downer if I found out that crack was worse than writing. Mm. Anyway, so I'm gonna go take it to the house. I'm gonna go to work, and I'm gonna try to try to have something useful to say. Oh yeah, turned in that short story. I called it Cooler. It's about uh, a couple of grifters. I liked it. I don't know if it's gonna fly, but I had fun writing it. And I think that's what it's about. Alright, deuces. Y'all see that? See that noise? Somebody Camaro getting towed at 7.20 at night in a damn near vacant parking lot. That's just cold-blooded. That's some bullshit right there, like, man. Oklahoma State, y'all get y'all money, don't y'all? Just rude. So, just, 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 so uncalled for. Just needlessly fucking up somebody's day right now. All right, don't forget, like, subscribe, 